Mr. D. Singh. Most people call me Mr. D. I've been in education going on 25 years. In those 25 years, I've been a classroom teacher and a coach of many different sports at all levels. This coming school year, I'll be going on my 14th year as a student success coordinator of the middle school. For those of you who worked with Mrs. Metcalf at the elementary, my role is similar here at the middle school. I try to interact with all students on a daily basis with high fives in the hallway during passing time or just saying hi as I go around to different classrooms. However, I spend most of my day working with students who need extra support in the struggles that come along with being a middle school student. Some of the struggles may include setting goals for academic improvement or assisting with a conflict that you and a fellow classmate might be having. Maybe you're having a bad day and you find yourself making poor choices. At that time, you may be sent my way so we can work together to come up with a better way of dealing with the situation. If you find yourself missing classroom instruction time for any reason, I am also the middle school truancy officer. I, along with the help of your family, will meet and try to find ways to make sure you are not missing out on your education. For me, athletic and extracurricular activities have been a big part of my life. For the past nine years, I've been the middle and high school site coordinator. So in short, I help during different athletic events throughout the school year. I am also the co-coach of Ski Club with Mr. Gray. This is another way for me to build relationships with students outside of the school day. My time away from school and athletics, I enjoy spending with my family. I have a soon-to-be seven-year-old son. He and I spend most of our time together doing all sorts of fun things, or me just simply trying to keep up with him. As a family, we enjoy spending time with our friends and our extended family. Being in the outdoors is where you will find us, hiking, biking, kayaking, camping, or just going for a simple walk. We also enjoy traveling. Seeing and experiencing new things is something we really enjoy. So that is a little bit about me. I'm excited to meeting all of you this fall. I'm sure just like Mrs. Metcalf, you may see me for a number of reasons and I look forward to working with you and your families. Be safe and stay healthy. And I look forward to sharing in your middle school years. Hello incoming sixth graders. My name is Mrs. Kiss and I teach special ed at the middle school. My room is room 201. Um, I also am in charge of the peer-to-peer -peer program, which is a program that anyone can be a part of. Um, we get together and we make new friends and we get to know new people and then we figure out ways that we can help others in our classes that are struggling. Um, so if that's something that you're interested in, you'll learn more about that next year. Um, I have been teaching now for 10 years. I taught at the elementary, third grade, and fifth grade. Uh, for seven years and then this is my third year at the middle school of doing special ed. Um, I like teaching especially special ed because every day is different. Um, I never know what I'm going to expect and that's always very exciting for me. I also am always busy. I love to be busy. I hate to be bored. Um, so I always like to find different things that I can do. So you'll see me always running around the school doing some different things. Um, I have two daughters and a cat. Um, they are two years old, seven years old, and my cat is 11 years old. Um, when I'm not at school, I like to swim in my pool, go boating on the lake. Um, I like to be outside in the sun. I like to read, watch movies, um, and just anything that gets me active and out of the house. Um, I am cannot wait to meet you guys. Um, so I'll, let me know if you have any questions and I would love to answer them for you. Hi, future sixth graders. My name is Miss Brower and I'm a special ed teacher at the middle school. Um, and I also teach a section of reading intervention. Um, this past year was my first year of teaching. Um, it was a great first year, but I'm super sad that it got cut short. Um, but that just makes me even more excited for next year and to meet all of you guys. Um, during college, I did my student teaching at the elementary school. Um, and then when I graduated from Saginaw Valley, I came back and was a long-term sub at the elementary school. So some of you might recognize me from there, um, but now I am teaching at the middle school and I love being able to do that. Um, one of my favorite things about teaching is especially my job as a special ed teacher is that I get to work with 
um, small groups of students. So I love that that allows me to um, get to know each of you better, um, to be able to help you with whatever you are needing help with. Um, and I also love that my job allows me to um, be in many different teachers' classrooms every day, um, which also means that I get to work with a lot of different students every day. So um, you'll see me in many different classrooms um, and around all around the uh, building. Um, when I'm not at school, I really enjoy being outside. So I like going to the beach, um, walking around my neighborhood, camping with my family in the summer. Um, I also like to read and I like to do crafty things like uh, painting, doing watercolor painting, um, and sewing. I'm not too great at the last couple things, but I'm learning and I enjoy doing them. Um, I can't wait to see all of you next year. See ya. Hi there, and welcome to Fenville Middle School. My name is Miss Martin, and I am the leader of the restorative justice program at the middle school. Um, all that that really means is that I work with you guys on community building and relationship skills. So I work with you guys on deciding like, what do you want the culture of Fenville to be in your time here? Um, how do you wanna be treated by students and by teachers? And what can we do to make sure that everyone is treated in the right way? So at the school, you will see me in your classroom, sometimes in large groups, talking about these goals and these ideas. And you might see me um, on a smaller scale to help you guys work through conflicts that might have come up or issues in relationships. Or you might um, have a teacher that recommends like, hey, why don't you go talk to Miss Martin about that? So sometimes you might come see me one-on-one -on -one during a class too. Um, my room is located in the eighth grade wing. It's right between the lab and the art room. So it's almost all the way down the eighth grade hallway. Um, kind of like down a little hallway. Um, you can see right into my desk from the hallway. This year will be my third year at Fenville. And before that, I worked at an alternative school. And prior to that, I um, was studying for college at Hope College in Holland. One of my favorite things about my time at Fenville is that I get to lead a girls group. So this is an after school group for middle school girls um, sometimes we meet once a month, sometimes we, we meet once a week, but um, we always try to work on life skills that are going to help you in the future, but also still have it be fun. So we teach you guys how to take care of yourselves, um, how you should manage your finances, um, how to help you get a job in the future and things like that. Um, we do a lot of fun trips and outings. I really enjoy it. Um, my absolute favorite part of working at Fenville, though, is um, getting to spend time with you guys and get to know you. Um, I don't think I can be of any help to you if I don't get to know the real you and also let you get to know the real me. So it sounds kind of cliche, but truly, um, my favorite part of my job is just getting to share in your middle school experience and getting to share our lives a little bit. I don't have any kids or pets, um, but I do have a lot of plants that I really love to take care of and the rest of my family lives in Illinois. So um, I do get to see them pretty often um, and they're very special to me. So you'll probably hear me talk about them next year. When I'm not at school or visiting my family, um, I really like to be outside. I love to hike. We have a lot of beautiful nature here in Michigan and I love to ride my bike through town and long rides out in the country. I also love the arts like every aspect of the arts. So I like to go to concerts and live music. Um, I like museums and galleries. I like fashion events. I like poetry events. Um, I like it all. So if it's creative, I'll probably be there. So I cannot wait to meet you guys in the fall. Um, it'll be such a good year. Um, don't be nervous. You're going to do great. And you have a huge group of people here supporting you that believe in you. Um, so until then, um, finish the year strong, enjoy your summer, and I can't wait to meet you.